Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden seeing you here. I pray that you are doing well. My friends, I pray that you are doing something that every individual who has peace of mind, who is settled, who is not depressed, who is not afraid, whose life is not filled with anxiety, who is not allowing themselves to be dominated by wall-to-wall negative news coverage, who aren't just about to flip out and lose their minds what they or we are doing. And that is, we are trusting in the Lord. I pray that you are relying upon the God of the Bible. As a matter of fact, I'm so excited. I, I Listen, I'm going to be teaching tonight from this subject, rely upon the Lord. For I'm here to tell you, when you fail to rely upon the Lord, you settle for much too little. We serve a God who honors devotion, and he honors devotion with deliverance. And I want you to come out tonight for Bible study as we talk about this mighty God in whom we're serving in times like these. I embrace wholeheartedly and I believe in the Christian doctrine. I believe that the Bible holds the key to all that is going on. I believe that the God of the Bible is still the only deliverer that there is. And nothing, nothing blesses people like loyalty and devotion to God, especially when times are tight and times are hard and when when the, the enemy is trying to entice you to go another way and the devil is trying to get you to believe that somehow, some way, the, the, the Christian doctrine and the God of the Bible is not enough. Now, I will admit that there is some truth to God uh, being not enough because the truth is he's the God who's more than enough. He's the El Shaddai God. He's the God who is more than enough. He's the all sufficient one. And he has a blessing for you tonight. I can hardly wait to teach the word of the Lord tonight. I want you to meet me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And if you can't come, meet me online, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and join us from all over. I'm going to talk to you about some things tonight. As you know, there is yet social and political uh, uh, unrest and upheaval going on in our nation. And I believe that we need to turn to the God of the Bible for him to heal the land for him to heal the land. He he has a cure for this anarchy. He has a cure for the rebellion and the protesting in the street. But he also has a cure for bigotry and racism and ungodliness. He has a cure. He's the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords and he knows. And my friends, in the midst of all of these things, if you rely on the Lord, He will give you a satisfied mind and he rewards devotion with deliverance. Meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for, you guessed it, Bible study. (laughs) Yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you.